Hey guys, welcome back to my studio. In this video, I will show you the painting process of a Sleeping Beauty painting and also tell you a darker version of this famous fairy tale. So make sure to watch till the end to hear the outrageous and unexpected original twist. This is an acrylic painting I painted for an exhibition that was themed around fairy tales. As always, I've started the process with sketching through the ideas and testing out my color palette. As usual, I start with a pencil drawing and then move on to layering the paint. We all know the contemporary version of the story of a Sleeping Beauty, but did you know that it was actually believed to be inspired by a true story. The original version of the tale was first published in 1634, and it's actually quite different from the lovely story that we all know now. Well, for starters, the king that finds the sleeping beauty takes advantage of her while she's asleep and leaves. Nine months later, she gives birth to twins while still being asleep. And it's her child that wakes her up from the sleep by suckling on her finger and removing the splinter that made her fall into a coma in the first place. As soon as she wakes up, she starts caring for her babies. Some time goes by and the king returns for another date only to find a whole new family waiting for him. It makes him very happy to see his new children and they start living as a happy family. But the king never mentions a very important detail. He is already married to a queen and none other than the wicked witch that placed a spell onto the Sleeping Beauty in the first place. The Queen senses that something is not right and sends someone to spy on her husband. She becomes furious when she finds out the truth. She gets a hold of the children and orders her cook to cook the twins. But Cook happens to be a lovely man who disobeys the order and instead hides the children while using lamb to cook the meals. Then the queen sits down with the king to watch him eat the meal and when he compliments the food she says, eat, eat, you are eating your own. Then the queen gets the sleeping beauty, starts calling her names and tries to throw her into a bonfire. But the Sleeping Beauty asks if she can take off the clothes before stepping into the flames. The Queen notices that the Sleeping Beauty's clothes are very beautiful and are covered with expensive jewels and pearls. So the Queen permits the Sleeping Beauty to do so out of her greed. Sleeping Beauty uses that to buy her some extra time and screams for help with every garment that she removes. The king hears her and comes to the rescue. He questions the queen and she tells him what she has done to his beautiful children. This news upsets the king so much that he orders to throw the queen into the fire. Shortly after that, the king finds out that his kids are safe and sound. Sleeping Beauty and the king get married and live happily ever after. The most interesting part is a proverb that the author adds at the end. That's how it goes. Those whom fortune favors find good luck even in their sleep. I personally don't have anything to add to this. 
but please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. As you can see, first I block in the main shapes of color and then start adding lighter and darker shades. Create more definition and details with the use of highlights and shadows. I use a variety of painting techniques in the process like layering, dry brushing, glazing and a few others. These paint application styles help me to reach the intensity of color appropriate texture and finishes that I want to achieve. I also like using different brands of acrylic paint for the different techniques, as I find that some work perfectly for glazing and others for layering down the ground color. Same goes for the brushes. The smaller the areas I am painting, the smaller the brush that I tend to use, and vice versa. Larger, flatter brushes are used for larger areas. If you enjoy watching art videos and tutorials, make sure to check out my Patreon page, where you can find more in-depth classes on different subjects, including face structuring, drawing and watercolor videos. Some of my patrons also get a chance to win sketches that I create during the tutorials. Different tiers offer different benefits, so make sure to look through everything carefully. And here is a closer view of the painting. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe if you still haven't, and press the notification bell to find out when the next video is out. I also would like to thank all my wonderful patrons for their support. And here are some more relaxing videos that you might find interesting. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you'll have a wonderful day.